So uh, shall I, I'll ask you about Metal Hammer as you're uh, gracing the cover of our uh, final issue of the year, I think. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, uh, your relationship with us as a magazine goes back right to the beginning, I assume. 95. Yeah. yeah well, 94 was the first story, I think. Yeah. I mean, did, I mean, the UK was, I guess, the first place to really embrace the band in, in many ways. Or certainly, it was, For sure. It was certainly, certainly louder here than it, it was elsewhere initially. You yes, know? definitely. Did the put work? I mean, yeah, not many people in bands have got a, an entirely straightforward and happy relationship with the press. But, the but, UK but, press? <laughs> the UK press, yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> how, I mean, yeah. you know, how, how has that, the relationship been over there? It's been long, you know, that's what, 23 years. Yeah. Mm. We... Uh, how has the relationship been? I yeah. think it's been pretty good. You Have know, we pissed there, was you a, there was a time there <laughs> where you guys, you know, everybody, I think everybody in the UK press went into, you know, it's like build you up, tear you down. And there was a, there was a pretty long tear you down yeah. period as I guess, you know, every band goes through here. And, uh, it, you know, I think what we, I think we were pretty graceful about it. Mm. You know, we, we stood our ground when we needed to st stand our ground and we kind of just let it roll off our backs when we needed to let it roll off our backs. Yeah. Um, I think that Metal Hammer was probably a little easier on us. Uh, and and going back to 90, you know, the first interview we did with them was 94 on the Slayer tour. Mm. So uh, it was cool. You know, that at that point, Metal Hammer, I think was, I, mean, I don't know if it was relatively new at that point, when did Metal Hammer start? Oh, 86 or something 86? like that. 86, yeah. okay, so I guess it was pretty, it was around. It wasn't that well known in the US though. Like mm. other, you know, Kerrang definitely was more well known. Yeah. So coming over here, it was like, oh, there's a cool metal magazine called Metal Hammer. And uh, and I remember the first, the first cover story that they did was um, 95. It was at the Paradiso in Amsterdam. That's where the photo shoot took place. And uh, it was me with the head, with, I had my bandana on and I was doing this cross arm thing. And I had uh, my buddy who was in San Quentin prison <laughs> had sent me this shirt. He, he had sent me his prison shirt and I was right. wearing his prison shirt in the photo. And then we were, you know, we were just thugged <laughs> out at that point. And it was, <laughs> I was like, we're gonna be thugged out on the cover of Metal Hammer. And, uh, and, it, was, and it was a big, it was a big moment, man. Yeah. It, was, I was, it, was, it was a huge honor. I remember, you know, I I was playing it cool in front of the photographer, but I was I was stoked. I was like, this is this is a big deal. Yeah. And uh, and then for the next one, for more things change, for more things change, I want to say you guys wanted to paint my face up or something. Like I think you guys were like, we need to paint your face up in silver and black camouflage. And I was like. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's before my and, time. Uh, I'm yeah. not taking the blame for that one. <laughs> so there's a there's a kind of a goofy, you know, silver and black yeah, yeah. camouflage photo of me out there somewhere on the cover, and then uh, and the next one I think was me and Logan on the cover facing off to each other. Yeah. And and after that I never did face off photos again because I was like, you know, it's like the versus versus yeah. thing, and and that didn't pan out too well. So. <laughs> Yeah. So I was like, yeah, you know, no more of those, you know, those things. Uh, Burning Red, we were on the cover. That was shot in L.A. Remember, we did a shot on the beach with mm -hmm. the sunset going down, so the sky was all red. And and uh, and then Supercharger, I don't think we had a cover. I remember we got a pretty kind of lackluster review for the record. No cover that yeah. time. But we did get a really good review for the live show. Yeah. And I remember that. And they were all like, the whole review was just like, I can't believe <laughs> they were fucking as good as they were. And it was like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> and then, uh, and then Ashes came and, you know, Ashes was like, you know, you know what? We did get a cover for Supercharger. Cause I remember it would, it might've been after it, but Jamie Hibbard came out and did a story with us. Uh, okay. And Jamie Hibbard was just the, I don't think he was editor at that point. He was just a young kid, mm. but he came out and, so yeah, somewhere along the line, we did a bunch of covers, man. We did a lot of covers, blackening covers. We did yeah. the we did the metal hammer pack, yes, focus that pack was brilliant, or something. Yeah. I just like to emphasize how good that was. <laughs> Whoever put that together <laughs> did a really good job. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the uh, the shoot you've just done with us then? How how was that as an experience, Rob? Wearing white clothes. I know, right? Weird. What's going on? 
It was, you know what, that's been, that was the thing that we decided to do for the catharsis video. Like we just have these white fucked up clothes, you know, you, mm. nine albums deep. It's like, what are we going to do? Can we do, can we do something different? Like, is yeah. it possible? Like, I don't know, but we, we rolled with it and we were stoked on it. And, and then you guys suggested wearing those. And I was like, yeah, it was a good, it was a cool, very arty, mm. you know, I like the, you know, I can't even tell you how many goddamn photo shoots I've done in front of a brick wall. And yeah, yeah. I'm not to say that I'm sick of it because I'm grateful that anybody's <laughs> taking my yeah. photo for a magazine. Sure. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. at the same time, it's like, can we do something other, you know, 23 years later? And so yeah. it was really, that's what I loved about it. It was really creative. It was really interesting ideas and very well shot, very well thought out. And, you know, I appreciate that. I appreciate the effort that goes into it. And I think when people see the cover, it's it's different. It's gonna yeah. be it's gonna stand out because it's so fucking holy shit. It was really cool. 